I am a single queen, you know the fucking vibes? Fuck men these days, fuck them all. They will hurt everyone's feelings and fuck them all. Welcome to the Juice Box Podcast by your host, Joey Juice. That is my Instagram, Joey with two Y's, Juice. Dude, I am fucking amped to be doing this. Um, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. And, dude, I actually, like, I have fucking no idea, really. I mean, I guess I have some of an idea of where I want to take this. And, um, I don't know, I guess just wing it here and there. But, you know, if you're coming to this podcast to learn stuff, well, dude, you're not going to be learning shit on this. Um, I mean, this podcast is going to be for dummies because uh, the host is a dummy. I like to consider myself the expert of things that, no, that's not even, I don't even know where the fuck I was going. It's like that scene in the office where Michael Scott's like, I never know where a sentence is going. I hope I find it along the way. But um, uh, I guess I could say I'm an expert of the people who aren't experts at anything. Because that's what I am. Um, so there's that. And I'm kind of multitasking right now. So I'm like just all over the place. And let's see here. Um, this first episode of the Juice Box podcast is actually sponsored and brought to you by nobody because we don't have any sponsors because it's the first episode and that's okay that's okay you know once i'm famous and once the the wheels get rolling on this bad boy you know you never know where it can go um but yeah like i said before i'm fucking excited to be doing this uh we've wanted to do it for a while i pretty much only listen to podcasts like every second of every day my roommates are probably kind of annoyed at that because I'll like walk into the house just listening to a podcast already and the house is like never quiet because it's just filled with my phone just blasting Rogan or any other fucking comedy podcast that there is in the world. I'm always listening to it. Um, but you know, I plan on talking about fart jokes, pee pee, poo poo, um, you know, all the good stuff, man. Queefin, sucking titties. Spending fitties, you know, all that stuff, dude. Um, when I announced that I was going to be making this podcast, I was actually really fucking stoked with the response from just people on IG and Twitter. And I mean, I'm not fucking like known, like people don't know me. So I was like stoked that um, people wanted to hear me talk about whatever, dude. Which is awesome because um, I feel like I have a lot of funny, interesting perspectives on everything there is. Like, dude, I'm like one of those people that if like something tragic happens, whether it's in the news or whatever, I nine times out of ten will try to see the funny in it, which is probably fucked up because, you know, (laughs) I don't know, like death and shit like okay hold on let me rephrase that like i don't think death is funny but i think that somewhere along the story of what happened something can be made funny or it could just be made fun of i don't know i don't even know what the fuck i'm talking about dude that's why i don't know why you're listening if you are listening to this i'm so sorry and um you might be wasting your time but just know that I fucking love you for listening to my ugly and annoying ass voice, dude. You know, us five foot seven Mexicans don't get the respect that I think we deserve. And that's okay. Like, uh, just this past Friday, I went out with a couple of friends in the city and I met I met a cool dude. Um, I'm not going to give out names, but if you're listening, I'm talking about you, bro. Because it was a good night, man. Tall guy, handsome guy, jacked fucking works out probably eight times a day, which I used to, but I don't do that anymore. Um, oh, dude, that's something else that I'll get into later on. But, uh, anyways, yeah, dude, five foot seven Mexicans just don't get any recognition, dude. 
And maybe you are if you look like fucking Mario Lopez and you have just an amazing face. But if you're Joseph Fontana and your face is like a four, oh, dude, people are walking past you like none other. And here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. So on Friday, I went out with a couple of, uh, I mean, I consider them friends. We don't really hang out very often, but they asked me to hang out. And I was like, dude, you know that if you ask me to go out and grab drinks, dog, I'm already there. While you were texting me, I was probably already getting just shit-faced because that's what I do for a living is I just get wrecked. I get plastered. I get sheet-rocked, dude. I'm always drinking. And you know what I'm drinking, dude? I'm always drinking a fucking White Claw, dude. And what flavor am I drinking? Oh, let me tell you. I'm drinking mango-flavored White Claw, dude. And if I'm not drinking that, I'm drinking a dank... IPA maybe, like a Lagunitas or like a, a, a Stone or whatever the fuck that brand is. Or, oh, dude, Sierra Nevada, dude, just slivers down my gullet like none other. Anyways, so they asked me to go get drinks, and I'm like, dude, say no more. I'll be there. Just tell me the place. Tell me the time, and I'll still be there before you, drinking before you. And what happened, dude? I got there five minutes early. I had already started sipping on my brew. Just as I just explained. And that's just what I do. Um, But anyways, I went off on a crazy tangent right there. But what I was trying to say was um, how Mexican men that are 5'7", such as myself, hardly get any recognition. And here's a prime example, okay? And I'll tell you, I was in a town where I feel like the girls might seem a little more entitled, but... Um, I was with a group of people who showed up and it was just us four for the first maybe hour, hour and a half. And we were waiting on another group of uh, girls to show up. And, um, oh my God, dude, they get there. And like, I knew two of them just through social media and I guess mutual friends, but I, I met two of them or I, I said hi to the first two that I knew. And then the third one, she, um, I like stood up because, you know, if you're going to be a gentleman, no, 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 no. If you're a five foot seven Mexican male, like yours truly, you're going to do anything in your power to just come out as a nice guy and respectable guy. So what did I do? I stood up, I walked around the table and like gave like one of those one armed hugs and, or actually, no, it wasn't even that. Or yeah, it was like a handshake and then a one arm hug. And I was like, hey, how you doing? My name is Joseph. And she was like, hey. And that's it. And then she walked away. And she sat on the other side of the table. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's cool. I definitely did not want to know your name because uh, I, 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 dude, I didn't even know what to say. But that's what I said because the person that was sitting or that that happened next to, she was one of the original four that were there. And so I was just like, uh, fuck me, right? Uh, yeah, because I didn't want to know your name, so I guess now here we are. And it was just funny, dude. But, like, that's what goes into being a short guy, dude. God damn, that shit sucks. But, anyways, it's hard out in these streets, boy. It really is, dude. And um, I have, dude, you know what really fucking makes me mad? It doesn't even make me mad anymore because I've seen it so many times. But when I'm on, like... Uh, when I'm on like Bumble, dude, I swear to God, the amount of fucking girls that have swipe left if you're under six feet in their bio, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. So what do I do? Sometimes if, uh, um, actually, I'm just kidding. I haven't done this. By the way, on this podcast, if I start saying shit that you know for a fact isn't true, Just know that it's a bit. I'm not being serious. Um, If it sounds like it's ridiculous, I promise you it's me doing a bit. Um, And that's just me kind of going off on my own little fantasy land and uh, just making shit up. Um, But that's kind of where I plan to take this podcast. So if you don't like that, you can go frick yourself, dude. You know the fucking vibes, dude? Oh, by the way, how was that intro? Dude, I think that's going to be like a temporary intro until I can get like a legit one. Because I don't know if I'm going to get um, docked for having Juice World's intro, RIP to Juice World. I don't know if I'm going to have um, 
an issue with that where if it's like copyright or whatever. Um, but I added the one girl from TikTok, dude. So funny. The first time I saw that, I was dead. Straight out of Compton, dude. So dead. Um, but, oh yeah, what I was going to say was um, the fucking chicks that have a swipe left if you're under six foot, dude. I, <laughs> dude, every time I see that shit, I get so heated. And I don't know why, dude, because I know that it's coming. I know... Like, I know that it's there, and I know that girls say that shit, and it's like, all right, well, if you weigh more than 100 pounds, you're fucking fat, dude. And that's not true. I'm not I'm not saying you guys are – hey, look, if you're over 100 pounds and you're a female, you're beautiful, okay? But if you have that in your bio on Bumble, you're fat and you're ugly. And I don't make the rules, but that's just where we are because you want to say some shit that I can't help, but I'm saying shit that you can help, so – there, that's where we are. Um, hold on. I had some shit that I wanted to talk about. Um, and dude, honestly, if you're still listening to this, by the way, that's fucking amazing, dog. Because um, I was kind of going to just wing it on this first episode. And I don't know how long it's going to be. Um, you know, it might be... I'm going to... I don't know, honestly, dude. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm just, uh, I'm just fucking doing my thing. I would like to maybe try to run these like an hour, but just sitting here now talking, it's fucking taking forever, dude. And that's kind of how it felt when I did my stand-up, which if you haven't seen or heard about that, I'm sure you have, because I'm sure the people that are listening to this probably follow me on Instagram. Um, But yeah, dude, I did my first stand-up and it was five minutes. Uh, Dude, it, oh my God, it was so scary, but it was really, it was really cool. Um, I went down to LA for it. My dad came along. Um, I have a joke about that. Oh my God. Oh, it was so awkward for a little bit, but, um, I had a joke in my standup where I said, uh, that I flew down from the Bay area and I said, my dad came and then I paused and then I said, came into my mother 23 years ago. I'm now I'm here trying to tell you guys stand up comedy. And dude, I was, when I wrote that, I was laughing so fucking hard. And then I was like, I don't think I'm going to put this in my act because I don't want my dad to feel uncomfortable. And then I uh, was up there and I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to do it because dude, at one point when I was up there, I fucking, uh, I like spaced out and I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to say right now. So I just brought the whole fucking, I flew down from the Bay Area, bullshit, whatever, whatever. Anyways. That was a really crazy experience, and I'm super. I'm, I'm like really glad I did it though, because um, I'm really into comedy and really into stand up, and I've always just wanted to. Um, well, not that's not true. I didn't always want to do stand up comedy, but I um, I've always had an interest in it, and then I think it really kind of sparked to I don't know, like the idea came into my head like December 2018. And then over the past year, I just had like a folder in my notes where I would just list down ideas and uh, potential bits and stuff, which is cool because like that's just just running through my mind pretty much, pretty much all day. And um, I used to post like stupid stories on Instagram and shit. I don't really do that anymore. Um, but you know, it's it's been fun, man. And now I'm trying to do this and. Um, like I said earlier, I when I posted that I was going to start this podcast on Instagram and uh, Twitter, I actually got like a pretty surprising amount of response from um, just people that I know that I uh, obviously like my close friends and stuff like that. Like, because I kept it a little quiet, but then I decided that I was going to start telling people because I feel like I did the same thing with the stand up routine. Um, if I like, if I want to do something, I. I have the idea and then I linger on it for a little while. But what I found, especially with the standup was I just started telling a, fu- uh, a couple of people and, um, I was like, all right, well I told people now. So that means I have to do some of, I mean, you know, I have to do it cause you don't want to be that fucking guy that's going to or guy, guy or girl or uh trans or gay or lesbian. I don't know whatever you are, but if you're one of those and if I forgot one, go fuck yourself. But if you're one of those and um, you tell people you're going to do stuff and then you just don't do it, you know, that's that's not cool. You don't want to be that kind of loser for sure. 
And um, so I told people that I wanted to do it. I mentioned to my dad that I wanted to start one. By the way, dude, my fucking dad hooked it up on this podcast equipment, dude. Dad, if you're listening, you're a real G. Love you. And thank you for this fucking dank setup, dude. I'm so fired up on this. Because I asked them for, or like, technically Santa Claus brought these to me, but I don't think my little brother is going to be allowed to listen to this, so I won't ruin it for him. And um, if you're listening to this and you you legitimately think that Santa brought you gifts, you're a fucking problem and you uh, you need to go seek out some help. Um, I'm just kidding. You can do whatever you want. You can believe whatever you want. Um, I think I, when did I stop believing in Santa Claus? Let's see, I'm 24 now. I think I stopped believing in Santa Claus when I was like 23. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, he hooked me up with some fire equipment. Just a cool little setup. And uh, But what I was saying was I was um, I wanted to start doing this for kind of a while. And uh, I just started telling people that I was going to do it. And then I was like, all right, I told people I'm going to do it. So that means I got to fucking do it. And here we are listening to the juice box podcast and um by the way the name of this podcast was uh given to me or i was given the idea of the name of this from my boy dylan dick sin what's up dog you're probably listening you're probably not you're probably like on the outdoors or some shit whatever probably fishing or whatever i don't know outdoors kid that's just really cool though they do oh yeah by the way, um, if you're listening to this and you like just some sick ass outdoor content, go on YouTube and type in. Hold on, let me check and just make sure that this is the name of it because I don't want to fucking. Oh shit! Hold on. Um, yeah, if you go on YouTube, type in Avid Media. Avid Media. That is a YouTube channel run by my two buddies, Dylan Dixon and um, uh, Derek Gomez. And it's a lot of sick-ass outdoor footage. They do – like Derek is really big on uh, photography and taking shots of waves. He lives in Hawaii, so he gets some sick-ass footy, dude. Sick footy. And um, Dylan's more of a on-land – videos and stuff like that so they do like a lot of off-roading and dirt biking and uh, polaris's and shit like that and trucks is the big thing too um that whole crew they're all into that it's dope shit and i'm sure um there's gonna be some good content coming out uh, especially during the summer next year and um yeah i'm actually not too sure on how often they post videos right now but from the videos that they've posted in the past, they're all fucking sick. And uh, you should definitely go check them out. That's Avid Media. And that's a free plug. Dylan, if you're listening, um, if I'm still giving you plugs uh, like a month from now, it's going to cost you about $50 a plug. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm just kidding. I love you. Um, so... I think I started talking about eight different things and took them all in a different direction. And now I'm sitting here with my thumb in my ass, not knowing where to go, dude. Um, Oh, it originally started with me saying how I got a good response from a couple of people that follow me. And they said, um, actually... Actually, I posted a poll or uh, one of those questions things on the stories. And I said, if there are any topics that you want me to go over, um, just for just for like a start off episode, um, someone said, or he wouldn't care if I said his name, my buddy Shane, He said, one of the things that you should talk about is holding a fart in for an extended period of time when you're with your girl. All right, dude. Holding a fart in when you're with your significant other, rather, um, because I know some girls are into girls and some guys are into guys and some 
one of those things is into one of those other things. And, oh my god, dude, I'm going to get canceled before I even fucking air this podcast. Um, dude, all right, here's the deal. When – I've been in like a couple of relationships and I've dated here and there. Um, believe it or not, you know, all that shit I said about being five foot seven. I have some abilities to get me a date and that's okay. You know, I'm not, um, fucking Prince Charming or Ken doll or whatever, but you know, I can, I can, so let's see, holding in a fart for extended period of time when you're with your girl. All right. That's, it's one of those, like, I feel like the first time you go on a date, you definitely don't want to do that um, because, like, I don't know. It's just kind of bad taste. Uh, you just want to be respectable. And um, I feel like – I personally, I feel like if, like, if I was on a date and a girl just let one rip in my car, dude, you're taking an Uber home. I'll tell you that. I got to go disinfect the fucking cushioning on my seats. I got to go shampoo my car now because you just gassed up my car that's already has gas in it. Dude, that's not cool. But I feel like it kind of depends on – it really just depends on how comfortable you are with each other. I mean it's – there's nothing really to that. I feel like like uh, there's been a couple times in the past where I was like chilling with a girl that I wouldn't consider my girlfriend um, – but every now and then, like, we would be, like, watching something funny. We'd be Netflix and chilling, and uh, we'd be watching. And I, I always um, – I would always make us watch, like, stand-up comedy because, that, dude, that's just fucking great content to watch with a date. Just movie night, listen to comedy, laugh and shit. And there were a couple times where, um, you know, you you laugh, but you – I don't know what it is. Like, sometimes you laugh and you just fucking fart out of your – butthole dude obviously that's where a fart comes from but you know you just gotta just in case no one knew fart is when gas just disperses from your fucking i don't even know where i was going with that but just you know what a fart is dude you know you guys aren't fucking stupid dude um and a fart came out of her little butthole and uh she was like oh my god i'm so embarrassed what are you I'm so bad. and what made it worse is i laughed like i laughed because i thought it was funny i thought it was cute and, um, but the best part was, uh, I laughed when the audience from the stand up special laughed. So I don't think she, at for, well, no, at first she thought I was laughing at the joke. But then once I stopped laughing, I looked at her and I said, You just farted. <laughs> and she got so fucking red, dude. It was hilarious. And, um, she was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And she, and I was like, it's okay. I mean, what the, what are you scared? And, um, she was like, well, I'm just so embarrassed. And I was like, dude, you don't need to be embarrassed. And I just let one rip right after that, dude. And then, um, I'm not really sure how she took that. Cause she like chuckled, but we're not together anymore. So that was probably a screw up on my end. But anyways, yeah, dude, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, I don't know, dude. I, yeah, that's pretty much where that one ends. Holding a fart in for an extended period of time when you're with your girl. Dude, just fucking do it. Just let it rip, man. I mean, if that's your girl, like, quotes, your girl, and you guys have been together for a while, what's she going to do, break up with you because you farted? Dude, nah. And if, dude, if a girl broke up with you for farting, bro, that's not your girl, dude. She's too young for you, bro. Bro, I've witnessed some horrendous farts. Not even from girls that I've dated, but just girls that I know. And dude, girls fart. You know what? You want to hear something even more crazy? Dude, I just fucking found this out not that long ago. But get this. Girls also poo. That's fucking insane to me, dude. Oh, man, I never knew that. I'm just kidding, dude. Yeah, dude. I mean, for the first couple dates, you know, maybe try and hold it in. Or uh, just say you got to go outside and make sure the grass is fine. Or if you're at a restaurant, um, just be like, oh, I got to go pay the car meter. 
Uh, if you're at a library, dude, just fucking knock a whole, uh, like knock like ten books off of the shelf, and right when they make, t- or right when they make um, impact on the ground, just fucking let it rip. Uh, dude, there's ways to get out of. I mean, there's so many different ways you can mask the sound of a fart. God, dude. I could just keep going, dude. I mean, I can't really. I ran out of ideas, but, you know, I'm sure when the situation happens, you know, I'll fucking, I got some tricks up my sleeve, dude. And, um, you know what sucks, actually, since we're on the topic? And I'm sure, like, people don't like hearing fart jokes or think poop jokes are humorous or whatever, but... You know, you can just turn this off. You know, you can also do that. Or you can just fast forward five minutes. And if I'm still talking about this in five minutes, um, yeah, maybe just come back on the next episode. <laughs> but what's really shitty is when you go to the bathroom, a public restroom with multiple stalls. Dog, I – all right. If I'm going to the bathroom, and I'm talking about the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? And I sit down in a stall and fucking Leroy is in the next stall and James is on the other side of me. So I got two different guys just sandwiching me into this bathroom stall. I am not – my bowel movements just stop. They just do not work and I don't know why. This is personal AF, dude. I don't talk about this but I'm talking about it now because throughout this podcast, you guys are going to learn – who the real Joey Juice is, okay? So, and also same goes for when I'm peeing at a stall and there's two guys to my right and my left. I don't know what it is, dude. My fucking bladder just closes or however that works. It just doesn't work. And then when I'm sitting on the toilet next to some guys, dude, oh my God, I'm sitting there for probably 45 minutes. So that's why I don't go to the bathroom in public. I just don't do it. I refuse I will literally hold everything inside of my body until it's uncontrollable and gets all over me. That's what I will do. Those are the measures that I will take. But it pisses me off too because I'll be sitting there overthinking everything, worrying about noises and shit. And these guys, it's fucking World War II in both of their stalls. Their fucking toilet bowls are just filled. Dude, this is kind of gross, but... It's insane how these guys just let their bodies reject or fucking distribute all that shit. And the noises that they make, dude, like there's butthole noises, but then it's their, their mouths, that the noises that came out of the mouth. Like they grunt. What's the grunting, dude? Do they do that at their houses? Because I don't do that. I'm not grunting. It's not like fucking werewolf. <laughs> Oh, that was crazy. Oh, God. And sometimes, okay, I remember this one time because I work in a lot of different buildings. Um, I had to, I was actually, I think I was just going pee, but uh, there were there were like three guys in three different stalls all next to each other right after lunchtime. Like this was probably at like, I don't know, one thirty, like 1 o'clock. And um, dude, they're in there shitting and talking to each other. No, 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 dude. That's not happening with me, okay? You can be my friend that I've known for 24 years, and if I'm in the bathroom doing my business, don't speak to me at all, okay? If I'm in the bathroom washing my hands, dude, if I'm in the bathroom, period, do not speak to me. Don't even look me in the eyes, dude. Just don't, okay? Bathrooms are fucking gross, dude, especially public restrooms. God, I, I don't – people would be like, you don't go to the bathroom in public restrooms? No, I don't because I'm fucking clean, dog. It's not my fault that you're gross. I just can't do it, man. And uh, like at the gym, one of my friends will just go – just let it rip in the gym, dude, like mid-workout. Just be like, all right, I'll see you guys in 20. I'm like, where are you going? He's like, I'm going to go let it rip in the toilet. I'm like, bro, that's fucking disgusting because my gym, dude – it's not the best gym, cleanliness-wise. It's just not that clean. Hold on. If you guys know this sound, you're an OG. Hold on. Ah, oh, that was just me ripping my mint-flavored jewel. I'm going to die, dude. Straight up. Hold on, I'm going to have some water.
staying hydrated, boys and girls. Um, if you're a girl listening to this, I am so sorry. I just want to apologize because um, – well, actually, I'm not because if you made it this far, that's on you, dog. But I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you if you're listening to this in general because, like I said before, I'm all over the place, dude. I'm all over the place. I had no format for this first episode, which I probably should have. But I feel like I didn't want it to be scripted and just kind of, you know, just fucking see where this goes. But like I was saying earlier, I um, I kind of want to shoot for an hour on these. But I don't think this first one's going to be an hour. It might be around like, I don't know. I don't even know how far we're recording right now. This this timer on this fucking MacBook is reading in seconds. Or wait. Oh, no. It's reading in beats. Hold on. I'm trying. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're at 30 minutes already. That's dope. That's good to know. Damn, that's crazy. I've been sitting here for 30 minutes talking. That's fucking nuts. All right. Let's go back to the Instagram. And um, let's see what people wanted to say. Okay. Someone wants me to talk about gold digging women and how they need to be stopped. Well, you see, this one doesn't affect me at all because one, I said this earlier, I'm a five foot seven Mexican. So I'm already having some trouble there getting a chick. Now, the second reason. There's no gold to be dug from ya boy, Joey Juice, okay? There's just simply none here. Um, but, hey, you know what, dude? My opinion on gold digging women, they're hustlers, all right? They, they're they looking out for themselves, really. And that's fine. I mean, some would call them selfish, greedy, but, you know, they're just trying to choose the easy way out. And honestly... Work smarter, not harder, dude. You know? If it was if the roles were switched, alright, look, dude. If I was six foot and I've had some work done on my face, and there was a fifty year old lady that was just ready to be married by a twenty four year old that was wealthy, dude. And I met with her at a bar and we shot the shit and I commented on her perfume and the pearls that she's wearing because she's fifty. Because ladies under 50 don't wear pearls. And she was a millionaire, dude? Oh, bro. Gold digger central, dude. I would in no time put a ring on that. That was paid for by her. For sure, dude. I don't know. But, like, who is that affecting? Who? And you know what's funny? A girl said this. The gold digging women and how they need to be stopped. Like, what is it at Matt? Like... No offense, but why does it affect you? It doesn't. But I see what you're saying. I mean, I guess if, like, okay, I guess the way it could affect you is if the person that was taking it, that was being taken advantage of, if that was, like, your relative and it was your, like, like a brother or an aunt or, I mean, an uncle or whatever. Or it could be, yeah, it could still be reversed, you know? Um, somebody could be taking advantage of your aunt or whatever. I don't know, man. In that case, yeah, sure, if it's, like, really bringing your relative down or whatever. But if it's just some guy, like, if, dude, do you think that the girls that hang out with Dan Bilzerian, dude, I don't give a fuck about them. I don't give a fuck about Dan Bilzerian either, but he chooses to do that, and he chooses to spend his money that way, and fucking whatever, man. It's on him. God, dude, Dan Bilzerian. What a great guy. I mean, like, I just said that I don't care about... I, I really... I mean, he's a celebrity. I don't really see why I'd dwell on anything that he does, but... Fucking animal, dude. He's fit. He's rich. He's well-known. Guy's fucking slamming puss left and right. Bro. I mean, my motto is chug, bruise, and slam twos. His is, like... I don't even know what his motto would be. Just something slamming dimes. But that's what he does for a living, dude. Just rails. That's legit, dude. I can't imagine living that life. But at the same time, ah, oh, dude, I just... Imagine having to fucking just be on that level 24-7 and surrounded by girl. Like, 
I feel like at some point, I, I know for myself, when I'm around people for too long, regardless of how fucking good looking you are, I get so bothered and annoyed. Like, I just want to leave. And I'm sure there's times where he's like, you know, chilling by himself. And that's nice. But everything you see on Instagram is just him and some hot ass chicks. And like, that's dope. You know, don't get me wrong. That's fucking sick. I mean, I would like to do that for maybe about a week. But uh, the way things are looking right now, that probably won't happen until I uh, um, come back from the dead or whatever. What's that called? Reincarnation? Reincarnation. Oh, dude. Just hearing that voice makes me want to watch Nacho Libre. It gave me no nutrients. God, dude, what a good movie. Um, but anyways, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say gold diggers need to be stopped. Um, I would definitely say maybe go back to school. Um, you know, try and earn your own living. Um, but that's just me, man, you know. Like I said, though, how's that affecting you? You know? Um... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, man, a lot of these are just people saying that they want to be on this, which is, I mean, that's dope. I really appreciate that, too. Um, we're, we're coming up on 36 minutes, and uh, I've literally just been talking about shit that no one has any business caring about. But if you're still listening, dude, I, I really fucking appreciate that. Um, this is the first episode. We just talked about tits and butts. PPs. I already said that earlier like five times, but I'm gonna say it again. Um, but I was I was really surprised with uh, the amount of people that um, said that they want to be on this and um, all this shit. But uh, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go about that yet because I think I'm just gonna get a couple of these down um, for a little bit. I might bank a couple um, just to have some ready to upload whenever I figure all that out. And then, uh, if you're one of my close friends, you're definitely going to be on this first. Uh, my buddy Nick's going to be on here. Uh, we got to schedule that. But um, yeah, my yeah, I have a lot of close friends that want to be on here. And really, just to shoot the shit. I mean, I, I, depending on the response of the first couple episodes, I think I'm gonna um, start doing that same thing with polls, or not poll, or maybe yeah. Um, and see, you know, anything people want me to talk about. Um, I might do current events from, like, Twitter, because there's a lot of funny shit on Twitter. Um, another reason I did this podcast is because I talk to myself a lot on Twitter. <laughs> and if you follow me on Twitter, you probably know that I tweet so much shit that is just, oh, my God. And here's the thing about that is when I – when I tweet something that's just super random, that is coming from my brain probably five minutes before I tweeted that. And I don't know why. It's That's just how – that's just all the t- – I think it's because my, my take on comedy, like whenever I think of stuff or if I'm driving, I see something that just clicks something in my head. I just – I just fucking – that's just, I just think of it. And – um. I think that a lot of the shit that I say is funny to myself. I make myself laugh a lot. Now, with that being said, I that's okay that people don't laugh at it. But it's important, I think, to make yourself laugh and be pretty much the main person that does that. Because um, you don't want to fucking take life too seriously, dude. Because that's why I post a lot of dumb shit. Um and that's why I want to do this too, because we're just here, fucking chilling, chugging brews, slamming twos. Um, anyway, yeah, so if uh, you're one of my close friends, definitely be on this. And then a couple people from like high school messaged me about it, saying that they want to be on it. And that's interesting to me. Um, it's interesting just because, and but no disrespect, I mean, I'm just saying... Uh, they reached out and said like, they'd love to be on it and just talk and just bullshit or whatever. That's totally cool with me. I'm, I have no problem with that. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was, it's cool to see people reach out and, um, 
you know, whatever. Um, let's see. We're at 40 minutes. So I think I'm going to try and do, let's try and do five more minutes. Five more minutes of me bullshitting, bro. I had notes on here that I wanted to talk about. Um, here's one for you guys. Um, do you ever go to a restaurant and it's like a nice restaurant, but, um, all the shit on the menu, you just can't pronounce, bro. That's the worst. Uh, a couple months ago, I went on a date with somebody and I took it to a nice restaurant and, um, it was an Italian restaurant and there was just a lot of shit on the menu that I couldn't pronounce. And I, I get so embarrassed when I can't pronounce shit. I don't know why it's like, it's something that's super embarrassing to me. So what will I do is I will just not get it. A regular person would look at the fucking, uh, the waiter waitress and they would probably point to the menu and just say, Oh, I can't pronounce this. I'll grab this one, though. And then the fucking guy, who's probably Italian or Mexican, will just give you the fluent-ass name and just let you fucking just hear how stupid you are because you couldn't pronounce that. Bro, that's the worst. But that's my life. And you would think, oh, Joseph, dude, there's no way you're embarrassed, dude. You seem like you take no judgment at all. No, dude. I will literally not order something. So what did I get? I just got pasta, like the regular spaghetti and meatball, because that's the only thing that I could read. And um, my date, I forgot what she got, but she got some fire. And uh, uh, oh, the worst part, I was looking at three options, couldn't pronounce any of them. And she got one of my three options. And she told the waiter what she wanted. And just inside, I was like, oh, you fucking bitch. God damn it. Had I known, I would have got that shit and you wouldn't be eating that. And um, and then we got our food and she asked me if, uh, if I wanted to try hers. And I was like, nah, don't want to try it. Looks terrible. But dude, it looked so fucking good. So anyways, yeah, um, but we're coming to a close, we're at the 45 minute mark, or we're at the 43 and a half, but I just want to say if you stuck around and listened to this pod for a while, um, for the whole time, I really appreciate you guys, and um, there was a lot of uh, little rest time in here, I'm, I, I think I'm going to not do edits on this podcast, I really want to just let it flow, and whatever happens, happens. Um, but it would be really helpful if, uh, I had more, like I have stuff planned to talk about later on. I didn't want to have everything set out in the first episode. Um, but please, 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 if there are, if there's anything that you want me to talk about, whether it's controversial shit or, um, like you want to do movie reviews or music reviews or fucking literally whatever, dude, just message me on Instagram. And um, I'll try and uh, work that in. Like if you're a local music creator or anything like that, send me a like a 15, 30 second clip of maybe a song that you have. Um, and I could throw it on here. Do like a, oh, I just burped. Um, I could do like a little preview for you. Uh, I can't say, you know, it's going to get a lot of views because I'm not really sure how many people actually listen to this. But just some fun stuff, dude. Um I think later on I'm going to do like wins of the week, losses of the week, um, song of the week, or like a lyric that stood out to me. Um, just little segments like that, dude. I, uh, I'm not really sure yet, but we'll see where it goes. 
and um, I'm really hoping for the best on this podcast. I, like I said, I really want to start getting shit done and talking to some cool people and just talking about some cool stuff and dumb stuff and joke about stuff and you know what I'm saying, dude? Crushing brews, slamming twos. Thank you guys for tuning into the first episode of the Juice Box Podcast. You can follow me at Joey Juice with two Y's on Instagram and Cardi Joe on Twitter. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you on episode two.